Hello all, welcome to the UEFA Champions League quarterfinal predictions 2019-2020 season by Statsman. The predictions for the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals are only on the basis of the statistics available because I believe that stats don't lie. And I also know that football is too unpredictable to be governed by statistics. But still, it is better to know our stats. In the first video, I'll be uh, predicting the first two quarterfinals on the basis of the statistics available for this particular season. And in the next video, I'll be predicting the other two quarterfinals. Now, there is a slight difference in the uh, UEFA Champions League quarterfinals format this time. It is a single match, a single leg tie uh, in which uh, the, if uh, the scores are level then uh, we get 30 minutes extra time and it is a penalty shootout after that. All the matches are being played at a neutral venue at uh, Portugal. So we we'll try to get into the uh, schedule of the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals 2019-2020 and then the most important part, the statistics of each and every team in detail for this season. So the first quarterfinal is between Atalanta versus PSG and it is on the 12th of August uh, 2020, 8pm um, UK time and for our Indian folks it is on 13th August 2020, 12.30 a.m. The second quarterfinal is between RB Leipzig versus Atletico Madrid on 13th of August 2020, 8 p.m. UK time. The next quarterfinal is between Barcelona versus Bayern Munich, 14th of August 2020, 8 p.m. UK time. And the final quarterfinal is between uh, the Manchester City versus Lyon, 15th of August 2020, again 8 p.m. UK time. Let's get into the details of uh, statistics because stats don't lie. So I'm going to give you the statistics of Atalanta over here. So Atalanta is a team in Syria being managed by Gian Piero Gasparini. In Serie A, Atalanta this season, uh, the total number of matches played is uh, 38. Atalanta has a win percentage of 61. The goals for or the goals scored are 98. The goals against or the goals conceded are 48. And Atalanta has a goal difference of 50 in Serie A this season. The total number of points. It has 78 points now these statistics are important over here why because uh, these are being played the matches are being played in uh, neutral venues so sometimes the away record will be uh, interesting so that you get some in insights out of the away record so Atlanta has played uh, 19 home matches and 19 away matches in the 19 home matches it has uh, won 12 and lost 5 in the 19 away matches the most important star point highlighted by Statsman so Atalanta is a team which likes to play away so in the 19 away matches Atalanta has only lost once it is a very high goal scoring team the goals per matches of Atlanta is 3.84 of which Atlanta scores at least 2.57 close to 3 goals per match and concedes 1 goal per match. The average position of Atlanta for the first half for the entire Serie A season is 45 and the second half position of Atlanta for the entire Serie A season is 55. The position of Atlanta in Serie A for the season 2019-2020 is third. It's, it is the debut season of Atalanta in the UEFA Champions League and in the debut season itself it has reached the quarterfinals. 
now the uefa also ranks teams on the basis of something which is called as club coefficient this is uh, the uh, by judging the performance of the team on the basis of the last five years in uefa or europa league so atlanta the uefa has given atlanta a club coefficient of a 50 over here and let's get into the uefa champions league details of atlanta for the season 2019 2020 the matches played by atlanta for the 2019-2020 uh, season is 8 it has a win percentage of a 50 the goals for is 16 so you can see that it is a very high scoring team and it is also a team which concedes a lot so the goals conceded or the goals against are 16 over here so it has a goal difference of 0 again if we have a look at the home record and the away record of Atalanta in the UEFA Champions League 2019-2020 it has played four home matches, four away matches. It has won two matches at home and a loss ratio of one. And away matches again, it has won two matches and lost two matches. Again, the goals per match for Atlanta. So you can see that the goals per match for Atlanta in Serie A is also close to four. And the goals per match for Atlanta in the UEFA Champions League is also 4. So you can make sure that this will be a high scoring match for sure as predicted by Statsman. So it scores 2 goals per match uh, in the Champions League and also concedes 2 goals per match in the Champions League. The position of Atlanta in the UEFA Champions League is 48% or 47% for the first half and 53% for the second half. So this is all about the statistics of Atlanta for the 2019-2020 season. Now we'll get into the statistics of PSG. Now PSG is being managed by Thomas Tuchel. PSG is a team of league one and they are the champions of league one just uh, information for y'all on 30th of april 2020 the league one uh, was uh, i mean uh, cancelled and uh, they had declared psg as the champions now the performance of paris saint germain at the Champions League level, the best performance is a semi-final spot in the 1994-1995 season. Let's get into the statistics of PSG for uh, the League 1 2019-2020. So the total matches played by uh, PSG is 27. It has a very high win percentage of 81 goals four or goals scored against 75 goals conceded or goals against 24 so here also you can see that it is a very high scoring team the goal difference is 51 the total points of PSG for 2019-2020 season in league one is uh, 68 now the home it has played 14 home matches of which it has won 12 and lost one the away matches it has played 13 away matches it has won 10 and lost two so from here you can make out that uh, PSG has performed well home and away for the 2019-2020 season now the goals per match for PSG also is 3.66 close to four goals per match and it has scored two point on an average 2.77 match uh, 2.77 goals per match and considered less than one goal per match the average position of a PSG for the 2019-2020 season is 46 for the first half and 54 for the second half. Now, if we get into the statistics of the UEFA Champions League 2019-2020 season of PSG, the UEFA has given it a club coefficient. That means UEFA has ranked PSG 7th. And the total matches uh, PSG has played uh, this season in the UEFA Champions League is 8 of which it has a very high win percentage of 75. The goals scored or goals for is also very high which is 20. 
the goals conceded or goals against is four goal difference of 16 uh, it has played four matches at home of which it has won all the matches so you can see that PSG is very strong at home and away matches again it has played four matches of which it has won two matches and lost one match now again you can see over here the goals per match for PSG in the UEFA Champions League 2019-2020 is 3 goals per match on an average of which it scores close to 2.53 goals and concedes less than 1. So you can see that again this is also a very high scoring team. Now one thing which was very shocking for me was that the average position of PSG in the UEFA Champions League this season first half is 38 percentage normally it is a team which has a very high position rate but in the first half this season in the UEFA Champions League on an average it has a very low percentage and also the second half uh, position percentage of uh, PSG is a 62 so these are the stats for both Atlanta versus PSG now on the basis of the statistics because stats don't lie so on the basis of the statistics let gets into the prediction from statsman the statsman prediction is such that it will be a very high scoring game and of which the first half score will be 1-1 and uh, the full time score between uh, atlanta versus psg will be 2-3 where psg will uh, win the match again these are just predictions on the basis of statistics football is of course unpredictable but from the statistics we have identified that it has to be a high scoring game now let's get into the prediction of the second quarter final. The second quarter final is between RB Leipzig versus Atletico Madrid. And first let, let's get into the statistics of RB Leipzig. RB Leipzig is a team in the Bundesliga managed by Julian Nagelsmann and this year for the 2019-2020 season they came third in the Bundesliga now again their best performance in the UEFA Champions League is a quarter final for this season and let's get into the statistics of RB Leipzig for uh, the uh, Bundesliga so the total matches in the Bundesliga, uh, Bundesliga for RB, RB Leipzig is 34 of which there is a win percentage of 53 only goals scored again very high 81 percentage goals conceded or goals against is 37 goal difference is 44 the total points of RB Leipzig is 66 the home match now you, one more pattern over here you can see that RB Leipzig is a team which does not like to play at home so you can see the home record of RB Leipzig of the 17 matches played at home they have won only 7 matches and lost 2 so there are more draws over here the away matches of RB Leipzig they have played 17 away matches of which they have won 11 and lost two so from here you can make out that this is a team which loves to play away the goals per match for RB Leipzig is 3.47 where the goals scored is 2.24 on an average and the goals conceded is 1.24 on an average the first half possession of RB Leipzig for the entire Bundesliga season 2019-2020 is 47 and the second half position is 53 now for the let's get into the statistics for the uefa champions league 2019-2020 so uefa has given rb leipzig a club coefficient that means a club ranking of 32 and it RB Leipzig has played 8 matches in the UEFA Champions League 2019-2020 of which it has a win percentage of 63 the goals 4 is 14 
goals against is 8 so it has conceded 8 goals goal difference is 6 over here home matches again 4 home matches 4 away matches it has won 2 matches at home and lost 1 match away again you can see a pattern over here the away performance of RB Leipzig is excellent in the UEFA Champions League also where it has won 3 matches and it has lost 1 matches the goal per match in the UEFA Champions League 2019-2020 season is 3 where it is scoring on an average 1.75 goals that means close to 2 goals per match and conceding 1 goal per match in the UEFA Champions League the position of RB uh, Leipzig in the UEFA Champions League first half this season on an average is 42 percentage and for the second half the position is a 58 percent on an average now let's get into the statistics uh, details of Atletico Madrid Atletico Madrid is a team in La Liga which is managed by Diego Simeone and uh, this season in La Liga 2019-2020 Atletico Madrid came third and uh, they are the runners up for the 2015-2016 season of the UEFA Champions League so one more pattern you can make out over here is that of the first four teams which are playing the quarterfinals okay there is no champion so Statsman is predicting that this season we'll have a new winner a team which has not yet won champions league that is what statsman is predicting on the basis of statistics so um, you can see now let's get into the details of la liga details of atletico madrid for the season 2019-2020 so you can see that of the 38 matches played it has a very low win percentage of 47 which is very unusual the goals for goals scored is absolutely as expected by statsman 51 so it is a very low scoring team goals conceded or goals against is 37 again low the goal difference is 24 points is 70 now you can see one more pattern over here this is a team which loves to perform at home so 19 matches at home the uh, it has won 12 and it has only lost one match over here away record is absolutely pathetic for uh, diego simeone's team so of the 19 matches away they have just won six matches i mean now as expected for atletico madrid the goals per matches for atletico madrid is 2.05 so it is a very low scoring team where it scores only one on an average 1.34 goal and concedes on an average 0 0.7 0 0.71 uh, goals i mean close to less than one goal it's scoring one goal and it is uh, conceding there are a probability that it is it will not concede the first half possession for atletico madrid for the entire season la liga season 2019 2020 is 45 and the second half position is 55 percentage now atletico madrid is a team which has been performing extremely well in the uefa champions league for the past five years hence uefa has given it a rank or a club coefficient of two now let's get into the details of atletico madrid for the uefa champions league 2019 2020 season the matches played are 8 over here and the win percentage in the UEFA Champions League is 63 which is much better the goals scored is or the goals for is 12 the goals against is 7 so they concede less and uh, the goal difference is 5 now this is again an uh, indicator that um, Atletico Madrid is a team which just loves playing at home so you can see that of the 4 matches played at home in the UEFA Champions League 2019-2020 they have lost none away of the four matches played away in the UEFA Champions League 2019-2020 
it has won two and lost two the goals per match in the uefa champions league is 2.38 so you can see that again close to two goals per game for atletico madrid of which they are only likely to score one or two goals per match and concede less than one which is 0.88 over here now you can see again this is as expected the possession of atletico madrid in the uefa champions league this season first half is only 26 percent and it is increasing for the second half on an average which is a 74 percentage now let's get into this so this is all for the statistics of the first two quarterfinals in the uefa champions league now the statsman prediction for this match RB Leipzig versus Atletico Madrid. It will be a low scoring game and half time predictions 0 0. Full time it will be a one all draw, which will lead to extra time. And in the Champions League, this time we have uh, no away goals rules quarterfinals in the quarterfinals so it will be a 30 minutes extra time and close to penalty shootout but then this is a team which has knocked out the uefa champions liverpool so you can expect that atletico madrid might also nick it 2-1 so this is the prediction by statsman for the quarterfinal rb leipzig versus atletico madrid that atletico madrid might nick this match or either on penalties or 2-1 but it will be a low scoring game and this is the semi-final prediction by statsman on the basis of statistics only so the semi-final uefa champions league 2019-2020 atletico madrid versus psg paris saint germain this is on 18th of august 2020 uk time and for our indian folks it is 19th of august 12 30 am these are just predictions on the basis of the statistics available for both their domestic leagues and for champions league but still i am saying football is too unpredictable to be governed or to be run by statistics but stats don't lie thank you